Hello and welcome to another OpenGL FDL and C++ tutorial. In this tutorial I gonna make the 3D FPS camera as I said and first of all I would start by explaining the problem, the solution. Uh, you need a little bit of trigonometric knowledge, uh, the sinus and cosinus. Uh, so let's get started. Here is your player, it is looking in this direction, as you can see, where the line is going. And you want, whenever you press the W key, you want to go in this direction where the line is, so where th the player look at. Uh, when we make FDL games like that, when we press the W, uh, not uh, mm, we don't care about where the player look, we just go uh, uh, this way, so up as we go down, right or left, so we don't really care about where the player is actually looking. But in an FPS game, if you press the W, you would wait that you go the direction where you looking at, so we will, ha we will have to make that. Alright, uh, we can actually uh, draw a triangle, a right triangle in here as you can see in the picture. So this is a right triangle, this is a right angle. 90 degrees. Alright, so now you can c uh, you have to calculate this side and this side according to get this end point. Uh, you want that whenever you move, you move it right here when I put this dot. You want to end up there. Alright, so I just give a name it so this is A and this is B this is the alpha angle uh, we know the angle because uh, we keep track that angle all right and uh, we know how much did we move this is for example if I press the W key once and I move one uh, unit uh, per frame then I know that I moved one unit so this can be easily trackable uh, we want to calculate the A and the B according to move here as you can see I have already write out that cos cosinus alpha so this is equal A so this uh, divided by D this and uh, to get the A because we want the A you can actually just uh, multiply this side so the left side by d and you will get it so d time cosinus alpha pretty simple and then you can calculate the b with sinus as you can see uh, sinus alpha equals uh, the b divided by d okay and if you multiply by d then you get that b equal to sinus alpha times d. This will be an important thing later on when we will move on to the actual camera. If you don't understand why I write what I wrote in here, then go to uh, a page which will explain the trigonometric function, the uh, more precisely just the sinus and cosinus, you don't have to know the other things for this example. And uh, that's about it. This was an important step. If you can understand why I did what I did, then it will be good. You probably understand the whole program. If you not, then as I said, you should go and uh, check it out. Wikipedia, for example. Alright, and then one more important thing is the camera. So when you move the camera up or down to plus 90 degrees to minus 90 degrees, this is the camera pitch and when you move to 300, so you rotate the camera actually this is the camera, yeah, you, yeah, I don't know so probably you know that, just I show you uh, to make sure and now I think we can start the coding I make the 3D camera into the functions.h uh, and the function.cpp file so it can be easily applied to another project alright so we need uh, void and uh, actually the, the 3d camera is the free function not just one one is lock camera I just call it lock camera this is basically 
look the camera at plus 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees and uh, make it so we cannot move uh, more than uh, 360 degrees so basically uh, the angle remains the same just for the floating uh, point precision we don't want that the float number goes to that much uh, okay and we have a move camera so void move camera and this weights a float and another float so two float 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 all right uh, we have a move camera up so void move camera up similarly this weights two float probably you have noticed already that I don't use names in here you don't have to use it uh, in prototype you have to just use it for normal function definition okay and we have a control function this weights uh, two floats so float float and a boolean value and I have a last function it is called update camera all right and this uh, not wait any anything all right then uh, I make a few uh, global variable just for the sake of simplicity we need an X Y and Z coordinate for the camera so float cam X and I, ju and I define it immediately cam Y define it zero and cam Z and I define this one 5 because we don't want to start by zero, zero, uh, 0 coordinate so we can actually see something alright I need a float this is called cam uh, yo yo I don't I can't pronounce it and I need a pitch so float cam pitch and I define this one to 0 as well okay I need a boolean value so bool and I call it mouse in and uh, I started by false this is actually mean that if the mouse is in the window uh, this will be false whenever I click to the window and then I cannot get the mouse out of uh, the window so like an FPS camera this will be stuck on the window as uh, the center of the window I cannot move out so I can just move the screen but I can move out the mouse probably it's clear okay and actually I have to define the pi because uh, I heard that it is not necessarily defined in the C math header file so define oh first of all I check that if it is defined already so if not defined m pi then I define the m pi equal to 3. Alright, that's about it. And and if. So that's about the variables. I think we don't need more. Now I make the lock camera function. So void lock camera camera all right and uh, now we check that if the pitch is greater or less than 90 degrees then I set it back so if uh, cam pitch is greater than 90 degrees then I just set it back so cam pitch equals to 90 degrees we don't want to uh, able to rotate in the up so you know what I mean in the y direction okay and I check if it is uh, smaller than minus 90 if cam pitch is less than minus 90 then I set it to minus 90 okay and I make uh, if the camera yo is uh, less than 0 degrees then I just add uh, 360 degrees to it so cam yo e, uh, plus equal 
360. Okay, and uh, if the camera view is uh, greater than 360 degrees, then I just uh, subtract 360 degrees from it. So, so basically all I do is uh, keep the cam pitch uh, between minus 90 and plus 90, included the minus 90 and plus 90, and uh, I keep the cam yo the variable between 0 and 360. That's about it. Uh, that's what this function does. Now the move camera function is comes in. This is where we use whatever we learn from GIMP. So not this. This one. So this two thing in here. So void. Oh, bad place. Void move camera. So we move the camera and uh, this waits two floats so float and uh, we we'll call the one is by or uh, I call it angle uh, instead and the second is uh, uh, direction. Uh, you will see in a moment what this does. So direction. Okay and then I have to first calculate the radiance because uh, the sinus and the cosinus function in C++ weights at the degrees in a radi uh, so the angle in radian instead of degrees. You can calculate, the you can uh, convert the uh, radian, with, uh, which is 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees, to uh, so the angle to radian by uh, multiply it by p divided by 180. Okay, you will see in a moment what I mean. So float and I call it red like radian and this will be equal to the angle uh, plus direction and this is multiplied by m pi which is defined it as a pi 3.14 and uh, and divided by 180 that's about it and uh, this should gi uh, get the radian uh, this should get the radian instead of uh, degrees probably you are wondering what this direction is does and I'll show you in a moment so that modified the direction let me show you a drawing this one to represent a circle circle and whenever you give 180 degrees, for example, to this direction, uh, you may remember we go in this way. And whenever, for example, you press the S key, I, uh, I uh, give the direction 180 degrees. And in this case, because we add 180 degrees, we will go in this direction. Okay, and when I uh, press the A key, then I add 90 degrees to this and this will be this. Okay, and whenever I press the D key I add minus uh, 90 degrees and this uh, will cause that you are going in this direction. So pretty simple, I just uh, give uh, 0, 90, so 0 if I press W, 90 if I press A, 180 if I press S and uh, minus 90 if I press D key and in this case or 270 and in this case uh, we can manipulate where do we want to go that depend on the original direction so that's what this direction is uh, does actually alright and then we calculate the new coordinate for the X and the Y coordinate so chem X plus equal because uh, actually minus equal this is the camera uh, cam x is the x uh, so the x position of the camera so this will be equal to the thing we just calculated in uh, uh, GIMP so this thing in here so and this will be sinus, sinus, as you want to call, and we give the radian we just calculated, 
and uh, and actually I screw it 